What's going on, everybody? And welcome to another episode of the Other Side of the Firewall podcast, where we talk about the latest and greatest of cybersecurity news, as well as we highlight those movers and shakers of glass ceiling breakers, those people of color who made it to the other side of the proverbial firewall. My name is Ryan Williams, and as always, I'm joined by Shannon Tynes. What's up? What's up? And LaVon Maynard. Welcome to the show. What is going on? Welcome back. So uh, if you listened to yesterday's episode, so the Monday episode, we talked about how the FBI, uh, NSA, and CISA are warning about uh, uh, APT, Russian state-funded hackers, uh, you know, digging into our systems off very old uh, vulnerabilities. So definitely check that one out. Uh, Wednesday, we kind of tie into that with uh, our, our weekly discussion where we're talking about Russia doing some stuff with the uh, uh, Ukraine. And then uh, there may be a CISP, Ask a CISP episode this week. We'll see if I can get somebody booked on that one. And then Friday, talk about everything else, go Bills. For y'all, y'all watch the game. <laughs> keep keep putting it out there until uh, I can't. <laughs> so hopefully it doesn't happen. <laughs> but without further ado, I give it to Shannon. All right. So <clears throat> the story is actually from thehackernews.com. And it's our buddy Ravi Lakshmanan. I hope I'm saying that right, Ravi. I may not be. But uh, the title of this one is Gootloader Hackers Targeting Employees of Law and Accounting Firms, right? Um, so Gootloader, right? So what is Gootloader? So Gootloader is when um, you have these hackers that get um, access to uh, to legitimate sites, right? And what they try to do is they try to get these to be sites that you, uh, like if you're doing any type of search on, uh, let's just say Google, right? Let's just use Google, uh, for instance. Um, they have control of these sites and they're infecting people when they, when they inf- infecting people's systems when they go to check uh for these search results right so you go and you search for an answer for something right um site appears legitimate right you go you click on it and all of a sudden you know you're in the you're in the you're in the danger zone at that point right so um they they end up delivering malware to your to your uh to your system um but the the point of this is right that's what gootloader is the point of this is that they're actually going after law and accounting firms now right so um, accounting firms, that's the one that really worries me, worries me right? Um, law firms, okay, yeah, you may get, you know, some case notes or something like that, but accounting firms is when you're dealing with people's money, right? Um, and who knows, they could be wailing, right? Like they could be, this could be one of those things where um, they're going after the big dogs at these companies, but we don't, we don't know for sure. But the way they do it is they try to get someone, again, to go to these websites, click on a link, um, the goot loader, it, it, uh, delivers this ransomware to their system, right? Banking Trojan or something like that. Um, some type of credential stealer, you know what I mean? Um, and so when they do this, again, like you you could be none the wiser, right? Like you could be on there, you're, you're doing whatever you're doing after you've gone to this site that you thought was legitimate, you've gone past it, you've forgotten all about it, right? So, um, but the way they get you to go to these sites is kind of social networking, right? Um, it's like, I don't, I don't, I don't have any Facebook friends or anything like that, right? Like, you know, I'm not the social media guy, but I imagine, you know, when you get on there, maybe it's one of these fake accounts that I hear so much about, right? Like <laughs> that, are, that are that are helping steal elections and whatnot, you know, that are <laughs> that are out there just trying to get you to, you know, go search for things or click on them to do what what uh, to to search for things that uh, you think you're looking for from a legitimate site, but you're not, right? And then you're what ends up happening is they end up uh, getting getting control of your system. So, um, but again, so right now they're going after, you know, they're going after law and accounting firms, but this could be anybody, right? Like this could be anybody that's a big dog at any company or whatever. Right. Um, and, uh, it's just, I don't know, you just gotta be careful out there, but with this, I don't know, I don't necessarily, I will, I will admit this. I don't necessarily know what to look for, um, in this to say, okay, well, this is what I should be looking for on this site when I go to do this, that, and the third. You're probably not going to know you got hit by it until all of a sudden, you know, your your money ends up funny, right? Like, oh man, what's what's going on here? You know what I mean? But uh, yeah, Levon, what you think about this, man? Yeah, man, I think it's it's pretty interesting. My first thought is, Shannon, we need to get you some friends on Facebook. I know you got some people out there that like you, so <laughs> I'm gonna get you some friends. <laughs> Hey, look, look, anybody, look, I don't need Facebook friends. Anybody I know, anybody I know, I hit them up. We chill. You know, we do whatever. We're talking, okay. Okay. We're text. I'm, I'm old school, right? I'm like, I'm one of the people that think 
you have a phone to talk to people. You know what I'm saying? Right, uh, right, I'm, right. I'm crazy use, like the, that. use a phone for what it's used to, uh, supposed, to, supposed to be yeah. used for, right? Yeah, Not yeah. just like searching the web. Never, <laughs> never. <laughs> a phone call is inconvenient. <laughs> <laughs> right. I need a text message <laughs> <laughs> or a chat chat message. <laughs> but yeah, no, I guess getting back to, back on topic, though, besides uh, uh, Shannon's friend situation, um, a good local, a scoop loader is, uh, is pretty interesting hack. Um, and in fact, like, like you mentioned, it's uh, targeting employees of law and accounting firms. I mean, bottom line is we, we know any, any system that's connected to the you know, internet, to the web, that's available online is a potential target for hackers. And we just got to, you know, we and they have to be prepared and be ready for these attackers that try to exploit their systems and try to make sure that, you know, we as, uh, uh, you know, consumers and, and business owners and what have you, we have to make sure our, our assets are protected as best as we can, because uh, they're coming for you, no matter who you are, where you're at. I mean, if you have something open, available on the internet, and somebody get to it, can reach to it from wherever, from the web, uh, you are at risk of being attacked. So you do everything you can to try to make sure you stay up on your patches and, I don't know, mitigate. We just talked about it on Monday. Uh, you know, making sure that you have multi-factor authentication enabled, you have like, you know, network segmentation, you have all these different like uh, kind of standard, you know, strong passwords, you have kind of standard security measures that you need to take to make sure everything stays secure. But uh, you can see from this article that they're coming after law, for law firms. Uh, I can imagine being like, you know, in, a, in the middle of like a case or something like that, or like either being a lawyer or being somebody that's being represented by a lawyer and you're like, yeah, I gave all the lawyer all my information and they have it saved in their, their files, all my secrets and all this kind of stuff. And all of a sudden that stuff gets taken, you know, taken and exploited, used for blackmail or whatever. Uh, and uh, that's a good point. I didn't even think about yeah. that. Um, yeah. I, I, was, I just wrote it off like, oh, OK, whatever. You get some case. Yeah. Something right. Like right. Some case, you, bring yeah. up, you bring up a good point right there, yeah. man. Yeah. yeah. Cause you know, that's supposed to be like the, with the, like the law, the lawyer, uh, client, like, um, uh, uh, confidential. Yeah. Yeah. So you got those things you can tell your lawyer, but you know, and they're not supposed to tell anybody else, but also they have it saved on a computer that gets hacked. And now everybody knows what you just told your, told your lawyer. So, uh, that could be, you know, that could be a big deal for some people, but, uh, yeah, it's, it's very interesting. Um, you know, it's a, it's a kind of age old, like, uh, we talk about all the time. People just gotta be, be prepared for for this, uh, these invasions of <laughs> privacy, you know, from these hackers and stuff like that. So, uh, but it's it's really good, interesting uh, information there. But uh, Ryan, what you think about this? Uh, I would say just be paranoid. Like whenever you're right. you're doing your searching or clicking on links, like I'm always paranoid, right? I don't. Someone sends me an email with a link in, and I never click it. I, mm -hmm. you know, what I mean, like I just don't uh, unless let. Like not even from trusted sources, like because people's accounts get hacked all the time. So like if right. someone you haven't talked to in a while sends you an email and it has links in it, probably don't mm -hmm. click that. Yeah. Uh, and when I search for things, I, I typically don't click on um, top results because I don't like uh, feeding the ads. But I also um, don't click on websites I'm unfamiliar with. Right. Like somebody might have a brilliant answer in some off-brand website. Like mm, I'm just never going to learn it. Like <laughs> I go to the same right. websites all the time. Uh, I try to always type in the correct um, URL, or if uh, if I do type it in correctly, like typically search engine like Google, like, did you mean? Like, yes, I did. And I'll click that and I'll let them correct it for me. Because mm -hmm. these are off-brand sites. Like it's it's Google with an extra L or, you know right. what I mean? Like any any other type of just, I, people mess this up a lot. So I'm going to buy this URL and then uh, weaponize it against against people. So just just be paranoid. And it usually mm -hmm. keep you out of trouble. You right. might have a couple of your Facebook friends like, oh, you didn't, you didn't look at my funny meme? Like, no, nah, I didn't look at that. <laughs> <laughs> you got Did not click that. Yeah. <laughs> Did not click that. Problem. Don't have that problem right. at all. Right. There, right. there you go. Yeah. <laughs> well, you, you always see that. You always see that. You'll, it's my, like, yeah, yeah, don't click the link. Like my, my right. account got hacked or what have you. Uh, yep. You just have that. to just, just be paranoid before you click on these things. That should get you uh, into a safer space. So yep. my two cents. Wise words right what? there. Wise words. <laughs> Be paranoid. <laughs> Be Ryan paranoid. Williams. <laughs> but I think that pretty much does it for this episode. So always a great uh, discussion. I think this one was pretty uh, concise. So hit up the website, www.theothersideoffirewall.com. You can tell of our socials. You can me up personally. I'm at Rye Rye Security Guy. That's R-Y-R-Y -R -Y uh, Security Guy on LinkedIn, Clubhouse, Twitter, and TikTok. And you, LeVon? Yes, sir. You can hit me up on the Twitters at LeVon Maynard. There it is. Stay safe. Stay secure. Take care.
Thank you.